Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube vlog in which my sentimental thoughts come from my heart. Also where my mental eyeball shenanigans come from my brain. It's EML77 TV, episode 645, and episode 109 of Get These Thumbs, I do believe. And yes it is, episode 109 of Get These Thumbs. I gotta keep track of these, I gotta keep track of these, um playlist I have here. Um, obviously, tomorrow night is the second season premiere of Press Your Luck, and where big bucks can be hit, and also whammies can be hit as well. So, commemorating that, we're going to have a little bit of fun here playing some Press Your Luck. All right, and should I go with the options here for just a second here? Um, sound effects, um, you know, yeah, the voice, we're going down a little bit, the music. Also, we're going to have a little bit of fun here. I know um, I want to I keep the sound effects up. That's what we're going to do. So we're going to have a little bit of fun here. We're going to do this, and um, let's play show number 13. And going against George and Susan. So here we go. Hiya, Whammy. Y'all enjoy all that money you got. And, all right. All right, so here we go. George and Susan, I'm in the middle. All right. They're after big bucks, and you have to avoid the whammy as they play the most exciting game in our lives from Television City in Hollywood. It's time to press your luck, folks. And we're going to do that right now. We're going to... Okay, let's see what the first question is. I'm going to read the questions off, if I can. All right, which entourage actor played John Densmore in the Doors movie? Oh, um, 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 um. George got this one. Let's see if I'm right. Also, could it be Kevin Connolly? Hmm. Okay. I want to. I want to try Connolly as well. Let me. Because uh, the, the the host of voices gets annoying. I miss Peter Tamarkin, That's for sure. To bet Kevin Dillon got it. Oh, it was Kevin Dillon. So Susan got the spin. She probably has a crush on Kevin Dillon. You never know. Okay. What genre does the TV show Six Degrees fall into? Ah, oh, George, you hit it again. Let's see. Oh. Six Degrees. I'm going to have to go with action as well. Let's see what Susan has to say about that. Drama. That's a little t this is a tough one. Drama, oh. We're not getting any spins here. Come on. we got to get on it. Which band features Robert Smith as the lead singer? Oh. I don't even know that one. The Fix? Hmm. I want to try Depeche Mode. The Fix. Oh, the cure. Oh. These questions are getting tougher. Like, located in the United States and what other country? Oh, I know that one. Come on. Uh, Canada. At least I got three spins in there. Come on. Yeah, see. The, the, the voice gets so annoying. And Canada. Everybody likes Canada. Canada. All right, we get spins, dude. And I get three, and Susan gets four, three. So, dun, 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 dun. Uh, so here we go. Big boy time round one. So, there's a tie. So, Susan's going to play last in this round. See what we got here. George, your first one spin. Let's go. And here we go. And, oh, 300 and a spin. You maximize the spin. Press your luck or pass. What are you going to do? Okay, and advance two spaces to 500. Oh, big bucks. And you got, oh, a trip. Oh, that's a good way to... Um, that's a good way, $3,330. So I'm going to spin, why not? All right, big bucks, no whammies, and stop. $100 in a spin, we'll take that. 
All right, we'll take that. We're going to keep going with this. We're going to keep going. Why not? Big bucks. No whammies and stop. A thousand bucks. A thousand bucks. Got to keep going, though. Got to keep going and stop. Four hundred bucks. All right. Fifteen hundred dollars. One more time. Let's see if we can do it and stop. Move one, space two. I'll take the, uh, and, uh, I will take, and I will take the trip. Smart move on my part. $4,500. I take the lead by $1,200. I gotta be, be prepared because Susan B. Pastel spins to me. $550. Pretty good. Five fifty, and what's she gonna do? She's not to get something big. Three hundred dollars in the spin. That's that's very helpful. Let's we'll see what she does here on her. All right. Not a whammy yet. Four hundred dollars. Twelve fifty. Strategy. Oh, she's gonna go for it. Oh, she hit a whammy. I like it. Take it back from you. The whammy beatos. I play last in the final round, baby. $4,500. That's not bad at all. Let's get let's get roasting here. Let's get roasting. I love this. Who was the running mate with Walter Mondale in the election he ran against Ronald Reagan? I think I know who it is. Uh, Geraldine Ferraro, I believe. That ain't Dan Quayle. Ha, <laughs> ha. If I know my 80s, it would be Gen Geraldine Ferraro. Each of them pick a Dukakis. Yeah, I got it right. Give me some spins. I'm the only one that got it. Okay. Which NASCAR star once hosted TV Saturday Night Live? Oh, that's a tough one. Uh, uh, okay, Richard Petty. I'm going to try... I think Jeff Gordon did, did host the show, if I'm not mistaken. Petty? Let's see who did it. Oh, I got it! All right, Jeff Gordon. I was smart. I was smart. Okay. Well, so far, one whammy's been hitting this game. So that's, Who is Ke Terry... Sc oh, Scalvo. Oh, she was the one that... Oh. Yeah, I think that was her. Woman in a coma for... Fifth, I think she was shot by somebody, if I'm not mistaken. I forget who, though. i got to look up that name. First woman governor? Woman in a coma for 15 years. I Okay, George got three. I got And I got one going to five. Susan's got nothing. So, who was Michael's brother in, on prison break? Hmm. Hmm. I never just saw a prison break, but I'm going to go with George. Link to skink. Link to sink. I should say skink. <laughs> Link to sink. Haywire. Tweener. Link to sink. All right. Well, so me and George have six spins each going into probably the final question. Oh, no. It's, that is the final question. Susan's got one spin to deal with, and she's going first, so she has to maximize that spin. And she got no money. And I'm playing last. I'm playing last. Let's get to it. Let's get cracking. And if I lose, I play another game. I'll play the same game she had on Whammy. It's coming to me now. It's a financial disaster in your future. And that's gone. Oh, my goodness. So, George and I now. Poor Susan. Let's see if she can stop marrying men for money. Now she's not to ma marry a whammy for money. Or marry one of us. Never know. I'm going to leave. Okay, down by $700. $5,000 to spend. That'll take you. That'll take you. $8,800. $4,300. Okay. Oh, that will help. That will help this guy. George has... $12,800, $4,500. Oh! Hello! All right. I'm hoping not to get a whammy here. I'm going to have to take those spins, man. Come on. All right. And stop at $2,500. That's a good way to start. $7,000. Got to keep going. Four spins. 
Big bucks, no whammies, and stop. 700 up more. That will put one spin in the earn column. And I got seven spins, and I got three spins left in the pass column. I must take. Let's get going. And stop. 750 in a spin. I will take it. All right. 84.50, eight spins in the urn, two in the past. And stop. Let's go back to spaces. $5,000 in a spin. $5,000 in a spin. All right. No, I'm, I'm, you know what I'm going to do? Okay, one more. Please, no whammies or else. And stop. Two thousand. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Guess what? George, they're yours. Nine spins. Nine spins. Let's go. Come on, George. Come on, George. Let's go, Georgie Porgy. You're going down. Whammies do my bidding. <laughs> and there goes the whammy and doing. Oh, he did a belly flop, right? <laughs> Told you that was going to happen, George. Do my bidding. Move one space to $2,500 or a trip. He says the trip, 4000 See, I knew that whammy was going to pop. I had a feeling I was going to hit a whammy on my next spin. Let's go. No whammies. Oh, another one. Another whammy. <laughs> Look, I'm cracking my knuckles. That's my character, man. I was smart to pass those spins. All right. $500 in a spin. Still six spins left. Those are six spins he started with until I passed those nine spins. They oh they were six spins. Uh, he passed them all passed the five spins to me. A thousand. See what he's gonna do. No whammy. Uh ha ha. Three thousand in a spin. That's four thousand dollars. He's got a lot to catch up on. Oh, twenty five hundred. Okay. Okay. And 750. He's catching up. He's catching up. 7250. I'm hoping. Ah, that's his third whammy. That's his third whammy. <laughs> Bananas. <laughs> All right, he's got three spins. One more, and I'm the champ. Come on, Georgie Porgy. I told you those whammies are coming after you. I made sure of it. Four thousand dollars in a spin. All right, let's go. My hands are sweating in this game. Come on, he got a trip that doubles his score up. All right, eight thousand dollars. He's got two spins left. He probably needs one more. Let's see what he got here. Twenty-five hundred. Okay, he's got one spin left. Let me see what he does here. Okay. I got to avoid the whammy to win. Come on. I got to avoid the whammy. That's all I need to do. No whammies. Big bucks. And stop. 2,500. I win again. I win, baby. I win. I won. <laughs> How would you like me now? 17,950 bucks. And there I go. Whamula. Getting chased by bats. <laughs> Yep, Whamula. There he is. He's like, oh my god, the bats. All right, what do I get? So, oh, nice. Okay, ooh, I, I can change my wardrobe. Richard used to beat up Paul in high school. Today, the tables, will you be caught in the rematch? I'm going to change my wardrobe, if you guys don't mind. And uh, let me, uh, let me just, uh, I want to look more classy. Ah. Uh, Okay, I look I look a little classier now. All right, single player, go. All right, Richard used to be. I should do this one. Okay, we're going for it. Go for another game. Why not? I did pretty good. That was the first game I won. That was pretty smart strategy. All I had to do is avoid the whammy, and I did it. Now, look at me. See, I'm at the end there. There's me at the end, and there's a fly. There's a fly whammy and splat. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> okay, from Television City is Hollywood is. Okay, we're going to play round one. Let's get to it here. All right. Let's get to it here. 
All right. In which year did Allied forces defeat Rommel in North Africa? Like I know that one. It's a long time ago. Okay. Well, we're doing it again. <laughs> uh, my mistake. Um, let's see what we got here. I meant to uh, adjust my. Okay. And uh, okay. I'm gonna go 1917. I don't know. It was weird. Uh, oh, 1942. Oh, one spin. 1942. Okay. Let's see. What what is the distance between peaks of wave called? A ripple? Wavelength? Hmm. I'm going to have to go wavelength because I don't know. Aurora? I, I don't know. Oh, okay. Okay. Dude knew what he's doing. Okay. Dude knew what he was doing. Alrighty then. Let's um let's do it. Okay. Who are the faithful student football fans at Duke root for? Uh Blue Devils, duh. Oh come on, you idiot. Oh that's Kansas City. Mm. I'm look. I'm looking smart. A oh, blue devils. I got a spin. I got a spin, baby. Thank you. Thank you. The president of which country signed the Chechnya peace treaty in 1997? Oh, uh, which country? I'm gonna have to go Poland. I think. Oh wait, it's Russia. I recognize that. Uh, I effed up. I screwed up. I bleeped up, man. I bleeped up. Oh. I knew it. See? A Chechnya. I'm thinking of... How stupid am I? Oh, boy. Okay. So, here we go. Let's see what we got here. All right. Only three spins to only a few spins, six spins together to work with. We're gonna maximize those bad boys. Let's see what we got here and no whammies. Six hundred and fifty bucks. That's not bad at all. Now it's my turn. We're getting in this thing. Let's spin the board and stop. Five hundred dollars. All right. Okay, about one hundred fifty bucks behind. I'm going and stop. And again, a thousand dollars. Very good. I uh, had 500 more to a thousand dollars. See what the third guy, Richard, can do. All right, 500 bucks. Same thing. This is pretty good. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Move one space two. He's going to get the trip, right? Oh no! I thought the trip would have put you ahead. 800 bucks, but you know. Oh, he should have. Uh, uh, this romantic, uh, first picnic, a lovely day, beautiful girl, and Fang now! Uh, Alright. Let's see what he does here. And it will be 500 bucks, and here we go. I end up playing last in the final round. That's pretty good again, my advantage. Okay, here we go. All right, what comedian is the voice behind the TV cartoon character Fat Albert? I know that one. Bill Cosby. And no comment on Bill Cosby at this moment. I have nothing to say about Bill Cosby. All I know is I used to respect the guy until he fell into some tough times. That's all I'm going to say on the matter. That's all I'm going to say. That's it. Much respect, though, for what he's, for his work. Who started remaking The Nutty Professor? I knew that one. Eddie Murphy. All right, Richard and Paul. I used to, I used to know a guy, uh, know a kid by the name of Richard Paul back in the day when I was a kid growing up. Jim Carrey? What is this dude smoking? Okay, this, uh, Paul says it was uh, Eddie Murphy, and it was Eddie Murphy. So I'll pick up a spin. I pick up six. All right. Let's see what we got here. Okay. Uh, what year did France withdraw its troops from NATO? 
Uh, um, I'm going to go with 1966. I don't know that one. Paul says he's 1966. Let me go with him. Oh, okay. 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 R. Kelly had which hit single in 1994? Mm, I don't know that one. Shop Around? Hmm. I don't know that one. You should know my night shop around. They're saying, uh, I'm going to say your body's calling. I don't know. Wow. I just guessed. I just guessed. I never listened. I know it was, never was an R. Kelly fan. But I just guessed that one. So I got to play last. I got eight spins to maximize with. But this guy's got one spin to burn, though. Two thousand dollars, and he's back in first place. Let's go. Let's go. Double your money and a spin. Thirteen hundred dollars, second place now. Oh, and a whammy gets hit, and his rent. <laughs> And he got the hook. <laughs> Pie in the hook. A little remake of the two classics. All right. And, uh, oh, another whammy. And meanwhile, the whammy sneaks over. And fire in the hole. But that bomb's going to go right back to the whammy. Kaboom. There he goes. Okay. I'm going to have to, I spins the burn, man. I'm going to have to go for it. Come on, and stop. $500 in the spin. Give me an opportunity to maximize some spins, and then I'll probably pass them over. And stop. Stop at a trip. Stop at a trip. $4,500. First place, though. $5,500. Excuse me. First place by $3,000. I keep going here. And $2,500. Gives me $8,000. And I'm going to have to keep going here. Double your money and stop. $700 in a spin. Okay, very good. I'm going to try to avoid the whammy here. And stop. $1,000 in a spin. $9,700. I'm going to keep going here. And stop. $800. Very good. $10,500. I'm going to... One more time. And double... Oh, we got another trip. Okay. Okay. Okay, fourteen thousand. I'm passing them back to. I'm passing them to Richard. Here's some more spins, buddy. Twelve thousand dollars. He's behind. I'm hoping he hits some whammies. All right, fifteen hundred dollars. That's four thousand. He's ten thousand five hundred behind. You can't pass him. That's the fun part. Twenty five hundred. 6,500? Come on. He's 8,000 behind. Let's go. 1,000 in a spin. 7,500, but he's got one spin. He's got one spin to burn left. And 2,250. So he needs 9,750. Okay. I know what the strategy is. He hopes I whammy. He hopes I whammy. That's what I don't want. No whammies. And stop. 2,000. I win again. I am the champion once again. King of pressure luck. That's me, baby. I'm the king of pressure luck. Right here. You're looking at the champ. The champ. Look at that. Raise the roof, whammy. Raise the roof. Raise the roof, whammy. Raise the roof. Raise the roof, whammy. Raise the roof. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, look at that. $197,900. Oh, my goodness. Yes, sir. -y. Well. All right. 
Okay, now I'm going to leave here because I want to play just two uh, play games, two games. I was successful, two and zero on press your luck. I can't wait for tomorrow's show. I hope y'all have a wonderful day. I hope y'all have a wonderful night. It's seven thirty one, so it is late. So uh, thank you for tuning in, and I hope you guys um, have have an awesome day. Okay, I'll see you guys later, uh, and uh, I'll see you. Have a uh, wonderful day, and. Uh, <laughs> A wonderful night, and uh, and we're going back to the Wii menu, okay? Have a good night, guys. Bye.